This is amazing. Now we have open GPTs, open source alternative to OpenAI's chat GPT store. In this, we can use 60 plus large language model. You can assign 100 plus Langchain tools. You have access to Langchain 60 plus vector databases. It is able to perform RAG and also save history. As an overall, it provides three different features. First, creating assistance, then RAG, and then chatbot. If it is assistant, the input is sent to the large language model. If it requires to use tools, then it will be passed to the tools. The tools will return the output back to the large language model. And then finally, we get the output. It's same as plugins in ChatGPT. In regards to RAG, the input goes to the retriever where the embeddings are stored. And then the data is then passed to large language model as context. And finally, we get the output. Thirdly, we can use it as a chatbot where you provide the input and the large language will give us the output. This is how the interface will look like with three different options. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Open GPTs. This is completely open source, which means you can run this locally on your computer completely for free. By choosing open source, local large language model, you can keep all your data private. You can integrate any open source model available to Langchain. We are going to see how to set this user interface, how to create assistance, how to set up RAG, and how to use it as a normal chatbot. I'm going to take you through step by step. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, make sure you download Docker in your computer. Once after it's running, type docker run hyphen p and then the port number, then Redis, Redis stack, latest version, and then click enter. Redis is started now. This is a required package used for storage. Currently, I can see the logs in this page, but if you want to run in the background, make sure you type hyphen d towards the end of this command. So keep this terminal running. Now open a new terminal. In a new terminal, git clone github.com langchain hyphen AI slash open GPTs and then click enter. Next, navigate to the open GPTs folder. Inside the folder, you have backend and frontend. Go into the backend first. Now we are going to create a virtual environment using conda, conda create hyphen and open GPT, Python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate open GPT to activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install hyphen e space dot and then click enter. This will install all the required packages. Next, we are going to export all these things such as Redis URL, OpenAI API key, Robocop, YDC API key and Tavili API key. I will put all the information in the description below and then click enter. Now, Langchain serve hyphen hyphen port 8100 and then click enter. This will automatically start the backend server, which is running in this port number. Keep this terminal running, open a new terminal. Now we're going to go back to the main folder and then going to the front end. So backend is already running, Redis server is already running. Now coming to front end, just type yarn and then click enter. This will install all the required packages for the front end. Then type yarn and dev and then click enter. This will automatically give the local URL and the network URL. I'm going to use the network URL. That worked correct for me, so I'm going to open that. Now, this is the interface, which you can see it's running in this IP address and the port number. Now our interface is ready. First, we are going to create a basic chatbot. I'm going to name it as chatbot, and we can choose any model we want. At the end, I will show you how we can integrate that with open source large language model using Olama. So once after you have chosen your large language model, click the save button and then your chatbot is ready to be used. I'm going to ask what is the future of AI just to test its feature. I can see that it is working fine. So that is a basic chatbot feature where you can directly chat with any large language model. Now we are going to create a RAG based application. We can upload .txt, .csv, HTML, .docx and PDF. I'm going to upload this self-rewarding large language model paper. I've uploaded that and going to mention your GPT-4 model and going to name my open GPT as RAG and click save. Now going to ask, give me summary about self-rewarding. 
language models. It didn't give me a proper answer, so going to try again. I can see it's going to the retrieval, but it's not returning. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything, but still I'm going to run again. Same thing in the TXT format and then click save. Now going to ask, give me summary of self-rewarding large language model. An error has occurred, please try again. In the terminal, I can see that it's not properly connected to the Redis, which is acting as a vector data store. So let me try and fix that. I'm going to export Redis URL with the network IP address and then running it again. Now coming back to the interface, going to create a new bot with the rag, upload the file now, and then clicking the save button. It's asking me to install Python magic, pip install Python magic and starting it again. Giving it a final try, still same error. Seems like I'm not able to integrate that properly with Redis. You can even replace this with Chroma or any other data store, which I'm not going to do that now to keep this tutorial short. Thirdly, I'm going to create assistant where you are able to upload a file and you have tools, this same as plugins in ChatGPT interface. So we can have archive, PubMed. You can use retrieval if you want to upload a file and ask questions based on that. You can search the internet using Tavili. You can use Wikipedia. You can even add your own tools here. So same like ChatGPT, we can add plugins. You can add tools here. And finally, you're choosing what large language model you want to use, giving a name to the assistant and then clicking save. Now going to ask, what are the latest research articles of AI in medicine? And then click enter. Now I can see it's going to the archive tool and it's getting me the information from archive and the large language model is processing the request and it's giving me the output. This is brilliant. This is just a start and it is completely free for you to use. Now we are going to see how we can integrate this with Olama. Just open the open GPTs folder. There you have the backend, go in there. Inside the backend, there is a folder called app. Inside the app, there is a file called LLMS. That is where the large language models are there. So there you can see different large language model. You can even add your own function with get Olama LLM. But to make this quicker, I'm going to just replace this LLM with Olama chat. LLM equals chat Olama model is Mistral. Make sure your Olama is installed in your computer and it's running Mistral. Also, I'm going to add another one import that is chat Olama. That's it. Just replace this and it should use Olama. Now coming back to our interface. So we have replaced this chat GPT 3.5 turbo with Olama. Now going to click the new chatbot, chatbot, going to choose 3.5 turbo and giving a name as Mistral Olama and then click save. Next going to ask, what is your base model? And here is the answer directly from Olama. To test that, I'm going to go to my terminal, type Olama list where I can see different large language model which I'm using. Specifically, I'm going to try Harry Potter. So going to replace this with H-A-R-R-Y-P-O-T-T-E-R. -E and let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to ask, who are you? And click enter. And here is the response. I am Harry Potter, a student from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This confirms that it is working with Olama. As simple as that. Now you have seen the full overview of the whole process. Now you can set this up on your computer and get it working. If you are able to fix the rag, just let me know in the comments below. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.